Now to the story that has taken the baseball world by storm. Shohei Otani spoke with the media for the first time since news broke last week about his interpreter's gambling scandal. Otani saying he was very shocked and saddened that someone he had trusted had done this and that Ipe Mizahara had been stealing money from his account. Take a listen. So I never bet on baseball or any other sports or never have asked somebody to do it on my behalf. Uh, and I have never uh, went through a bookmaker uh, to bet on sports. All right, time now for the Daily Thread. We bring in our Red Sox insider, John Tomasi. Uh, Tomasi, listen, I don't mean to sound so cynical and skeptical, but like how big is the bus that Shohei Otani is <laughs> driving over his interpreter with? Like none of this is adding up for me. Is it adding up for you? No, Trenny, I didn't hear enough, certainly. The fact that he didn't take questions is a big red flag for me. The fact that he didn't address how did Ipe Mutsahara have access to your bank accounts? How did you not notice four and a half million dollars go missing? I think, unfortunately, what we're hearing right now is a playbook as old as time in pro sports. Something bad happens, you blame the little guy. I'm not saying that it's not true. We don't know that yet, but I think a healthy skepticism is warranted. You go back to Roger Clemens and Brian McNamee. You go back to A-Rod and Cousin Yuri. These guys, when they get busted for steroids, if you want to keep it local, uh, certainly John Jastrzemski and Dorito Doink there, his partner in crime uh, under Tom Brady with the Patriots and, and Deflategate and all of that. It's always deny, put it on someone who really can't defend themselves. I need to hear more before I just say, well, Otani told us he never bet, so that's the end of the story. Let's move on. Yeah, there, to me, there are a couple of big holes in the story. One, of course, you already mentioned being the, how does Ipe Mizahara have access? Like, does he have uh, some weird sort of face ID? Does he put some glasses on and access his Bank of America account and then transfer upwards of four and a half million dollars? And the other thing, and I know Shohei Otani said that Mizahara had told his representatives that he was in contact with Shohei about talking to ESPN at length about his gambling problems. But you're telling me that your agents that you pay a hefty sum to just take your interpreter at his word. They don't call and check in with you. There's no discussion between all three of you about how to handle a, a possibly, possibly explosive story. Like, that doesn't add up to me for me either. Yeah, I mean, it's completely absurd on its face. And this is a guy, let's remember, we saw it again today. His public persona is so tightly controlled. We've mentioned it before. We didn't even know the name of his dog. They didn't want to release that. And so the fact that Otani, who has such a, you know, like I said, tightly controlled public image, something like this would happen and they wouldn't even run it by him. It just, it strains credulity and it calls into question everything he said today. And especially when you go back, I mean, maybe Ipe Mutsuhara is just the most brazen attempted thief in history. But for him to come out and so blithely tell ESPN, oh, yeah, I owed this money and he paid off the debt for me to the bookie and then retract it all of, a few minutes later, it just it just doesn't add up. Yeah, and they were he retracted it. And at first, by the way, Otani's camp co-signed the first story and then they retracted it. This one I don't think is, is over uh, by any means. All right, Tomasi, thanks very much.